we go on to chapter 15 part 2 on page 216 and 217 and 218 today's topic is plane mirror and its image and uses spherical mirrors and lenses plane mirror is called looking mirror in which we see our face this plane mirror image you know the characters of image the image formed on the plane mirror is upright straight that means same size of your face same size of the object if you are standing in front of mirror with 1 meter distance and where will be the image formed image also formed from the mirror 1 meter distance which is senses that the distance between you and the mirror is 1 meter and the mirror and the image is 1 meter so distance remains same so then tell me what is the distance between you and image it remains 2 meter because you from the mirror 1 meter away you are from the mirror 1 meter away the image is so what is the distance between you and the image that is 1 plus 1 meter 2 meter and the image is laterally inverted what does it mean if you raise your hand if you lift your right hand up it assumes you are rise and you are left hand the image shows that you are rise and you are left hand if you rise your left hand the image shows that you have rise and you are right hand such a type of inversion is called lateral inversion these are the characteristics of plane mirror image now tell us what are the uses of this plane mirror. Plane mirror is used in combs as a looking glass. They are used in kaleidoscope and periscope. They are also used in solar cooker and also used for testing eyesight. How do we see object which are present around you? We can see the object by the process of reflection. When the light rays falls on the object, the light rays reflect from the body of the object, from the surface of the object. Because of this reflection, we can see the object which are surrounded us. What is the difference between spherical mirror and lens? Mirror in mirror, there is only one reflective surface and in lenses, both the sides are reflecting surfaces. Now we are going to see mirror. There are two types of mirror, convex mirror, concave mirror. Also we studied about plane mirror. What is convex mirror? This surface is called convex which is bulged out in the middle. And what is concave? The reflective surface is curved inside. Curved inside. This is called concave mirror. And this is called convex lens and this is called concave lens. This convex lens and the concave mirror they perform similar action they perform similar kinds of images similar characteristics of images so let us compare these two concave mirror and convex lens and we continue our studies when you stand in front of concave mirror and convex lens the image formed will be upright and larger in size which is virtual image which cannot, this image cannot be obtained on the screen, which is seem to be obtained inside the mirror. When you move away from this concave mirror and convex lens, the size will be decreased, but the image will be inverted. But it is a real image, such image is obtained on the screen. At the same way, the properties and characters of image of convex mirror and concave lens remain same. It is just opposite of that concave mirror and a convex lens. You are going to study only concave mirror and a convex lens. So if you study this one, you can write about convex mirror and concave lens. Convex mirror and concave lens images are always upright but smaller than the size of our body. Here, images cannot be obtained on the screen, so the image is virtual image. You know the difference between virtual image and real image. Virtual image is not obtained on the screen, but real image is obtained on the screen. Virtual image always formed behind the mirror, whereas real image is formed on the same side of the mirror. Virtual image is always erect, real image is inverted. The size of the virtual image in plane mirror is same. The size of the virtual image in concave mirror is enlarged or of same size. But in convex mirror, the virtual image is smaller. And real image, it is always depend upon the object from the mirror. 
the size of the image depend upon the distance of the object from the mirror. Virtual image is formed when at least two rays of light coming from an object appear to meet after reflection from the mirror. But in real image, these two rays of light coming from an object actually meet at the point after the reflection from the mirror. Here we are going to see some uses of these mirrors and lenses. Concave mirrors are used in torch and car headlights as well as shaving mirrors. These convex mirrors are used in automobiles and also it is used in street lights. Curved lenses are used in spectacle to correct short-sightedness and long-sightedness. Lenses are used in cameras, binoculars, microscope, a telescope, etc. Look at this image. When you put a pencil inside the water, you can see the image of the pencil inside the water is bent. This type of process phenomenon is called refraction. What is refraction? When light passes from one medium to another medium, that is air to water, what will happen? It changes the speed of the rays, speed of the light changes from one medium to another, which in turn causes changes in direction of image. This is called refraction. That is what in this class the pencil looks bent inside the water. When the ray of light passes from less dense medium air to more lens, denser medium water, it bends towards the normal because the speed of the light is decreased. But it reverse occurs when the light travels from denser medium water to less denser, rarer medium air. It's bent away from the normal because the speed of the light increases. Look at this. This is your perpendicular line to the surface. See this uh, image is bent towards the normal and this image is bent away from the normal. Why it is away from bending away from the normal? Because speed of the light is more in this less denser medium. That is what objects seem to be bent away from the normal. The same principle is applied here also. When you see, when you look at the sea, lakes and river, often it appears less deep than they really are. Because refraction makes the bottom seem nearer. In this case, the light is traveling from air to water body, that means less denser to more denser area, that is what it bent towards the normal, that is the reason. We see this, uh, the bottom of the sea appears to be less deep. Now we go on learning dispersion of light. See, look at this color of sunlight, it seems to be white, but it is a mixture of different kind of light with a different frequency and different wavelength. They all these colors, the colored light, different frequency are color, different colored light. They are traveling in the same speed. The sunlight is comprised of different colored light, but they all lights are traveling in the same speed. So we could see the light as white in color. But the same light is passed through the solid prism. You can see the light, speed of the light will be varied. Depend upon the frequency of the light, it bent. That is what we see seven different color after passing this beam of light through the prism. Such a process of splitting up white light after passing through the prism is called dispersion. Dispersion occurs. Reason for this dispersion is the variation in speed of the light, different light travel in different speed in the solid medium. That is what this white light split into different colors. Look at this VIBGR color. This red light bent very less, whereas violet color bent more because the red light has longer wavelength, whereas violet has shorter wavelength. Since red color light has longer wavelength, they travel very fast. The velocity of that light is very fast. So that is what it bend very less. That is least bending of red light occurs. We can see different colors because our eyes are having different cells, that is rods and cones, which are present in retina of the eye. These rod cells are very sensitive to dim light, whereas cone cells are very sensitive to bright light. If you see red rose in blue light, it appears black. Why? This is because this red rose absorbs the blue light 
and it did reflect nothing no color is reflected that's how it appears to be black if you observe red rose in the sunlight it become red we see red color why because it absorb all the white light only reflecting red color that is what we could see that red color rose and what about white rose this white rose it reflect colors but reflect back all the colors it does not absorb any color it reflect back all the white colors that's what we could see it is white and what about black cloth it does not reflect any of the color it absorb all the light and uh, the black cloth absorb all the color of the light white light does not reflect any of the light that is what it is seen to be black color